Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so before I get started, I wanna show you guys some dried results. So starting with the pearl painting, cause now it's officially fully dry. So there is the fully dry painting. It is amazing. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm loving the different sections of colors and I'm really glad I didn't end up touching the green because if I had, then there'd be a lot less green. Um, I wish there was more green. So if and when I do this again, um, I'll do it on a larger canvas and make sure I add equal amounts of every color, but it turned out super duper nice. And now it's just gonna get a uh, top coat of crystal resin and it'll be ready for purchase. So if anyone is interested in this painting, it's a 16 by 20 inch and it is available for purchase. All right, let's put this back and I shall show you the dried results of the smoky teal painting. So this is now dry, obviously, and let me bring you guys in for a close up. Look at those shimmery cells. This turned out super great too. It dried absolutely perfectly. Oh, look at that. I love that. That's pretty. So that is dry and shall get a top coat and then it'll be off to my client. Um, all right, so really quickly, don't forget calendars, uh, 2020, 2023. I don't know why I can't say that all the time. 2023 calendar is available for purchase. Um, if you are interested in a calendar, what did I show you time, last time, August? There's August again. So I can't show you all the months because then there's like no surprise. Um, so if you are interested in a calendar, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. They are $50 Canadian. And if you're in the U.S., shipping is about $23. Um, so just so that you know if you are interested in one. Um, my August 27th workshop here in my home studio is sold out. So I have opened up a new date of Saturday, September 10th. If you are interested in joining me here in my home studio to learn how to do the Dutch pour, you'll get to learn how to do it on a white base, uh, canvas and a black base. So you'll get to do two pours that day. Um, so if you'd like to attend, I have three spots left. Um, so I'm half sold out. I only have six spots available and three are already gone. So if you are interested in attending, you can email me. It is September 10th. Speaking of workshops, if you saw my last video or Tammy's last video, you would have seen our big announcement. So Tammy and I are taking our um, fluid art creative escape workshop and we are heading to Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, a lot of people have been emailing us, asking us about the details. Um, just hold your horses because we're still trying to get all the details together. Um, we have found a venue. I'll give you guys a little bit of tidbit information, okay? Um, we have found a venue. Um, it is going to be at um, a hotel and it's going to be great because we'll all be in one place if you choose to book a room at the hotel if you're coming from outside of North Carolina. So it'll be a lot easier for everyone. We're blocking off some rooms. Um, and like I said, more details will follow as soon as um, I can get everything organized with Tammy and we will let you guys know when registration officially opens. All right, um, give me about a week or so and then, you know, keep an eye out on both our YouTube channels, Instagram, Facebook. We will post on all social media platforms when registration will be open and how you get the details. All right. So it's exciting. It's only seven months away. And before you know it, it's going to fly by. So I'm super stoked. Tammy's super stoked. And I, I can't wait. All right. So I think that is it for now. So I'm going to bring myself down or bring you guys down on the canvas. I'm going to get started on today's silver and gold uh, series. Keeping it on with that series. I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So I'm working on a round canvas today. I haven't done a round canvas in a really long time. I was going to stick to my 16 by 20 inch canvas that I've been doing for this series. But guess what? I'm out of 16 by 20 inch canvases. 
Um, I really need to head to Michael's because I'm out of my smaller canvases. All I have are really huge ones and um, I don't really want to be doing super duper huge ones right now. I'd like to stick to small canvases for the time being. Um, so I've got a uh, almost 20 inch, it's 19.7 uh, uh, round canvas. And these ones are um, Montmartre canvases. Let me see if I still have the wrapper. Did I, did I toss it? Oh, I've got it. It's in the garbage, but I've got it. So here we go. <laughs> Guess I should have held on to it. So it's a Montmartre canvas. See, it's 50 centimeters, so that equivalent it's equivalent to 19.7 inches. Um, so I get these from, if you're in Canada, I get them from HomeSense. Um, they're super hard to find. I remember the last time I found them, I stocked up, but it's been a while since I used one. So that is what I'm going to be using today. And the colors I'm going to be using are orange. I'm not even an orange fan, um, but... I've done blue, I've done pink, I've done purple. Um, I'll still do green and then maybe turquoise, but I thought, you know what, change it up completely. Out of the norm, out of my comfort zone, we're doing orange. Um, and I'm gonna explain to you the colors because it was really, really hard to figure this out. Um, base color I'm gonna be using is my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, okay, 2019. And the colors I'm gonna be using are going to be the Iridescent Silver by Pebeo. Then I have Azo or Azo, I don't even know, Azo, Azo Orange by Amsterdam. All right. Then I've got the 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. Then I am sneaking in some Copper by Amsterdam because I think it'll add a really nice contrasting color. And then topping it off, I've got Vermilion by Amsterdam. Now, I had these colors too. So let me explain to you my thought process because I know a lot of you wonder this and if you've attended any of my classes, whether it's my home classes or if you were at the Naples workshop, you're going to know this. Um, trying to figure out how to layer your colors and how to put them in order. So I really, really liked the reflex orange, but it just kind of didn't work. You see, it just, it doesn't work. So that's out. Okay. I love the iridescent orange yellow by Pebeo. But the problem is I've got one, two, three shimmers already and then two regular colors. Um, so now if I added this, I'd be at four shimmery colors. Um, and so on a size of a canvas like this, I don't typically do more than five colors and now we're at six colors, okay? And then the other thing is there was this one, which is Naples yellow red, but kind of looks like a light kind of orangey, but then I figured, you know what, that's obviously way too many colors. So this was out on the list. All right. Now, typically I try not to put two shimmer colors together. I like to separate it with like a solid color, let's say like this, for example. But again, I don't like this color. And with orange, I only have so many orange colors. Like if I was doing this with blue, this wouldn't be an issue because I have like 20 shades of blue, but I only have these oranges. That's all I have. So I don't have another solid orange to put in between these two shimmers. So sadly, I have to put the two shimmers together. Um, now, if I wanted to add the iridescent orange, I could add it here on the end. But again, I have two shimmery colors or I can put it in between here because I have an orange, orange, and an orange. I would never put it here side by side to another orange because that just doesn't make sense. They'll just get lost in each other. And I wouldn't put it here either. So I would put it here, but here's my problem now. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Three shimmers and not like that goes against my, my rules. This is how I do it. I'm not saying this is how you have to do it. I'm not saying this is the right way. Um, it could be the wrong way, but this is my way, okay? So this is how I do it and I don't like that. I don't like having three shimmery. It's too much shimmer. That's four shimmers now and two regular colors. So that's why I sadly had to take this out because I would have loved to have the iridescent by Pebeo in there. So that's why I took it out. Could I put it here? Orange, orange, orange. I could because the oranges are separated, but A, that's now six colors, okay? And B, I have two shimmers here again. So 
I could put it in here. It's not gonna be the end of the world if I had six. When you add too many colors on a smaller size canvas, it, it just kinda, for newbies and people who are just starting out, it could be a little um, harder and then you have a more risk of muddying up your colors if you have too many paint colors. Um, so, however, now that I'm thinking about it, because silver would be on the bottom, the first color I lay down, when I blow it out, the outline of the petals will be in silver because it was the first color I put down in my puddle or my, my lines, right? So typically the first color you add on the canvas is going to be the color that you're likely going to see around the rim and the edges of your petal when you blow it out. The color you put last on the canvas, so on top of all the other colors, is the most dominant color you're going to see when you blow out your, your paints. So if you have purples and blues and you love, you know, the uh, specific color blue the most, you would put it last on the canvas on top of all the other colors because that's the one that's going to show most and be most dominant. So, um, so I kind of don't want silver to be the outline of the petals. So you know what? I think I am going to add this. And this will be now the outline of my petals, or so I hope. So I'm gonna go against my own rules and I'm gonna add six colors. So there we have it. That's what I'm gonna do. And because it's a smaller canvas, I'm going to be using my uh, flower hair dryer, Flower by Drew Barrymore, all right? I'm gonna put these back and I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, canvas is flooded. I've got an air bubble. Thought I got them all. I'll try that again. All right, canvas flooded, bubbles popped. Let's get started. I haven't even really thought about a composition yet. Um, oh, I'm running low on this color too, of course. All right, so I'm going to do, let's do some wispies. So let's go this way this way and this way. Well, oh, that's interesting. I didn't even think about that. I just did it. <laughs> okay. It is what it is. Let's keep going. All right. So next we will add the silver. Oh, I can't believe I'm leaving for Florida in like less than two weeks and I have so much to do still, but I'm excited to go. I feel like I really need a break and I need to relax and sit on the beach and do nothing and get a nice golden tan. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good time because we're going with um, my in-laws, my sister-in-law. So there's gonna be nine of us all together. So it's gonna be a great time. Uh, why am I loading on the gold? Uh, what are you doing, Canela? This, this is why I shouldn't talk when I'm layering my paints. Wow, I just really overdid it with the gold there. Not here, but here. Oh, goodness gracious. That was really bad. All right. You know, I thought about adding um, Van Dyke Brown to this and I decided against it because I didn't want to take away from the orange palette. Like, so I figured, and I thought maybe the brown might end up being way too dominant. So um, I chose not to do it. Oh, this gold, too much gold. We'll see what happens when I blow it out. There's a lot of paint on the canvas, a lot of paint. Lots and lots of paint, too much paint. This is why I try and stick to like at least five, four to five colors. Six is pushing it. All right. Popping all the bubbles. So much gold, oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna start in this puddle here and then work my way down and so on and so forth. So let's get started.
All right. I hate orange. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I think the blowout is gorgeous. The cells are really gorgeous. I'm going to have to play with this. Um, I don't like this part here. Um, there was a lot of paint on the canvas. I said it before I even started blowing it out. I knew it. Um, but I did it anyway. Um, so there's a lot of paint on the canvas. Um, but I love this. I love the composition. I love the cells that are happening. I'm just not an orange fan. Although I know there's orange fans out there. So I don't hate it. I just dislike it. <laughs> okay, let me play with this for a second. There's a single little strip of silver here, and there's some silver here, and a little bit here. But aside from that, the silver is non-existent, which I'm completely okay with, um, because it just looks better the way it is. And I'm really glad I ended up adding the uh, copper in here, because it really added that little extra um, contrast that it needed. So let's see here. All right, all right. Uh, I think that is it. It's really gonna shimmer though because four out of the six colors were a metallic or an iridescent. So um, it's definitely gonna shimmer. Okay, I'm going to really fix my size. There's not really much to fix because they're short sides. And I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So I've already gone ahead and taken my stick and scraped the drips because um, it's a lot harder to scrape these drips because the canvas is so much closer to the table and it's only a one inch thickness there um, or so. Um, all right, so let me show you guys. You know, the more I look at it, the more it's like growing on me, the color. I love the composition. I love everything about it. I love the cells. I love all of it. It's just the color that gets me because um, I'm a blue, purple, turquoise lover. But I know there's an orange lover out there. Prove me right. And we'll find out if someone purchases this painting. Is there an orange lover out there who'd like to purchase this piece? Let me know. All right, let's check out the shimmer. All right, flash is on. Yeah, this thing is going to be ridiculous. This whole thing is shimmer. So there's that going for it. It's definitely shimmerous. Is that even a word? I like making up new words. It is pretty though. It sure is pretty. Sure is shimmery. Look at that shimmer. There's the silver. So a little bit of silver there. And then a little bit of silver here. Which I'm totally okay with. Completely, completely okay with. It adds that little extra oomph, but, and I'm glad that copper's in there because look how pretty that looks right in there. Super happy with this. And there you have it, everybody. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Check out all the info in the description below. Uh, colors used, discounts for different companies. If you are watching and you're not a subscriber, I would love it if you would hit that subscription button and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And that is it for now. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.